Let's blame it on the suit. Okay. All righty, all righty. Let's back up a little bit. I'm too close. That's what it is. What's up, everybody? Shant here, back with another incredible luxury home tour. If you're new here, welcome to the family. If you're not, it's amazing seeing you again. Today we are in the prestigious Encino Hills in Los Angeles, about to tour this brand new modern farmhouse, which evokes feelings of comfiness and coziness. It makes you want to kick up your feet and stay a while with a martini, of course, because it's also modern and luxurious. A few specs on this house, which I'm very excited to tour. Six bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, 8,400 square feet of interior living space. And I want to give a special thanks to the listing agent, Danielle Peretz with the agency, for inviting us to tour her phenomenal listing. This home is set behind these gates where we have this expansive motor court leading you up to your three-car garage. You also have hedging along the sides, these beautiful olive trees, and just very lush landscaping all throughout. And then for the facade, you have your white stucco, the black accents around the, the windows, the framing, which give a little edge to the space. Contrasting the white stucco, there is uh, this wood paneled siding, and it's very pleasing to the eye, neutral gray, framing your garage. The entrance to your home is very grand. You have this awesome, this huge pivot door with this gold brush gold hardware. And how do we unlock the door? Oh, by smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Did you do it? Fantastic. We are now inside. And there's a lot to see. Starting with the wide plank natural grain floors all throughout. I wanted to mention it because it's, it's very classic modern farmhouse. The neutral colors and textures give this feeling that you know, it's connected to the outdoors. Before we go to the formal dining, I want to mention the living room. We have a lot of windows letting in all the natural light that your heart can desire. The Calcutta stone fireplace over here. And, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a nice space. It's very, it's welcoming. Right when you enter, enter the home, it just it greets you. And then when, you, when you're done being greeted by that room, you get greeted by this room, which is your dining room, where you have this suspended modern light fixture. And it's suspended from this whole, this element, this detail dropped below the ceiling. It's th these gray wood panels. And I think they just add a little interest and depth to the space. And I'm enjoying it. And something really interesting about this wine cellar, if, you, if you'll notice, there are two separate entryways. I mean, this is someone that really takes their wines seriously. You open these up, put the Bordeaux over here, champagne, which is not a wine, on this end. So yeah, you have lots of space to store all your wine. If you follow me this way, before we head over to the family room and the designer chef's kitchen, I want to take you to the theater. There is actually a state-of-the-art theater right here. Walking right over here, you have your plush carpet over here, so you can just kind of kick off your shoes. Wait, now I feel like a hypocrite by not doing it. So just kick them off. Put one right over here, other one right here. And now we're here, into the theater. We have a drop-down projector that is currently not dropped down. I also want to mention the velvety plush you know, soundproofing over here. It's very, it's that, you know, very luxurious feel. Seating for you, more people, your guests, your family, everybody. And once you have a room like this, I mean, do you even want to use a TV after? Because like anything, any video, a TV show, a movie, a YouTube video, if you know what I mean, anything is going to look like cooler. It's going to add new life to it. Pop some popcorn, eat some Twizzlers. Looks like someone already popped some popcorn over here. Outside of your theater, we first have the powder room. Oh, hi, Seth. Cheers. Uh, we have your floating vanity over here. All the modern, you know, bits and bobs with uh, your brushed gold faucet as well. And I want to mention something we don't typically talk, talk about on this channel, but when we do, it's because it's levitating and it's a toilet and it's very modern. It doesn't have the traditional back. 
area over here. And this whole levitating toilet is a, is a theme throughout the home in all seven and a half bathrooms. This way, we have the guest suite on the first floor. We have the sliding pocket doors, which take us out to the backyard paradise, which is, this is one of the nicest backyards we have seen on this channel thus far. The pool is spectacular, everything about it. Thank you, Seth, for backing up a little bit. We, we wanna save a little bit for you guys, you know? We don't wanna, we don't wanna give it all away. There's also an ADU and a, a, guest, a guest house and a pool house, cabana area as well. And I wanna take us into this bathroom and show us the stone. Because a lot of the stone in this house is bright and white. And over here we have this darker stone as well, which I, I really like. It's very zen, very, um, wow, it's very, very nice. And the, the brushed gold faucets and fixtures really pop. It's, it's very, um, what is it, relaxing and soothing. And I mean, I'd love to use this bathroom. Now, heading into our family room, we have all of this. It's like, this is a painting. It's huge. That's what it looks like. I mean, the, you could close the whole uh, Fleetwood pocket doors all over here and uh, you could be inside or you could open them all up and it could be just like a find a fantastic indoor outdoor space. And the developer paid the extra money to tuck them all the way in. You know, sometimes they stop right out here, boom, all the way in. We have this beautiful millwork in the natural tones again, surrounding your floor to ceiling book match stone fireplace in the book match. So it's, it's butterflies out kind of because if you could see over here, boom, butterflies out. You'll probably suspend a TV over here, but I don't, I don't know if you're gonna want to because, because of that state of the art theater. And heading further in this way, you have all these different types of uh, colors and tones and textures, which give a lot of depth to the space because the home, it's, it's more than just a pretty face. There's layers to this. I like that whole huge mirror, by the way, because it shows the kind of indoor-outdoor space. It's kind of, you look at it and you're like, all of a sudden you're outdoors. But you're not even indoors. But you, you guys get the concept. It's, it's beautiful. This is your designer chef's kitchen, where we have the floating, not floating, the waterfall edge on the sides over here. The beautiful Calcutta stone, and it's obviously huge, because that seems to be a theme these days. Uh, just making just huge, Islands, I mean, you're so far away right now. That, that's insane. That's insane. All the bar seating right over here and uh, the sink as well as, instead of if you wanna show them over here, we have the sleek white cabinets contrasting the natural wood cabinets as well underneath. You have your suite of Thermador appliances over all throughout, you have this beautiful range, the ovens, the double oven, the refrigerator, which is actually behind the wood paneling over here, and it's, it's huge. I don't know if you can see, wow, like, definitely you can store a lot of things in here. And I wanna mention, all the appliances, I don't know if you see this, Seth, you wanna show them this? You wanna, you wanna check this out? They say something right there, little Wi-Fi, little Wi-Fi, you see that? <laughs> so that's because they could all be controlled from your phone. The oven is the same thing. So when you go to Trader Joe's, which is where I go for a lot of like, you know, frozen pizzas, all those kinds of stuff, you can preheat the oven on your way home. You turn it on, and then uh, when you get home, it's preheated, and you slide your pizza in there. You could also do that for the range as well if you wanna, wanna cook something, or you know, turn off the, the burners if you forget them on. So it's a great you know, safety feature, as well as a convenience. What does the fridge do? What does the fridge do? With the Wi-Fi. Oh, what does the fridge do with the Wi-Fi? <laughs> Asking all the good questions. <laughs> that is a very good question. <laughs> I'm kind of curious right now. I will definitely look that up, what the fridge does with the Wi-Fi. And when I find out in the next Wi-Fi home, I will discuss it. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. I appreciate that. Okay, so I, I like the uh, under lighting over here under the cabinets as well. And uh, if you see that over there, we have a little coffee maker. And the drawers are actually out. I have to come back and put these back in later. And uh, back here, we have an office, very close to the snacks, which is great for your brain stimulation, <laughs> brain power. You do better work when you're closer to the snacks. There's also a door over here that takes you outside as well. And I wanna take you guys this way towards, first, your mudroom, which you could probably also use as a coat closet, because you're not gonna be using it as a mudroom too much, because. I mean, how often does it rain in Los Angeles? I think there's a song like that. Rain in California, something like that. 
Yeah, how often? Not too much, but when it does, I mean, you're ready for it. When it doesn't, the coats and all the jackets and sweaters, because we, we have a lot of sweater weather sometimes, could go all over there. What's that for? Wait, the store? This is the garage. This is your three car garage over here. This is your prep kitchen, where we have the darker cabinets and millwork throughout. And again, you know, under cabinet lighting, all the classics that carry on from the designer chef's kitchen. And I want to mention, boom, your pantry area. And it's really nice. This is, this is honestly incredible. All the built-in millwork, it's a very luxurious pantry. Passing back by your more informal dining room, almost essentially a breakfast nook. This is a really exquisite modern light fixture suspended from the ceiling. And now we have the outdoor seating area over here. You can have some breakfast over here, or you can use the outdoor kitchen, do a little cooking, a little barbecuing, the bar stools. Maybe this is where you can bring the friends over, pass out the drinks, and then this, your EDU. We can just uh, call it the guest house. And uh, let's venture on in there. We have now entered the phenomenal guest house where you have some room to lounge around right over here, eat over here so you can play and then eat right over here, uh, your dining area. You have this uh, window on this end which lets in the natural light. You also see the views, wow, <laughs> they look great. And then the kitchen. So the kitchen is really cool because a lot of the aspects carry on from the main house like all these Wi-Fi appliances again. And then you have uh, this very cozy island over here. You kind of sit, have someone over over here sitting with you. It's very intimate, the meal. Like, like, how's your meal going? Mine's going good, it's delicious, it's tasty. You're a great chef, you're a great cook. All of that could happen in this cozy little space. And I want to now take us over to the bathroom, which is essentially one of the bathrooms from the uh, main house. It's the same thing. They have the vanity, the stone, the uh, levitating toilet once again. All of the aspects, it's not like they used any subpar items or anything in the guest house. The guest house was taken just as seriously, which uh, I appreciate. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. You know, so this is the, the sleeping area, sleeping quarters. Wake up, take a peek at your view. I'm always talking about this view. So the view is of your own things. It's, this is all you as far as the eyeballs can see. It's crazy. <laughs> And uh, here's your, your built-in. Hang all the clothing, keep all your clothes in here. Honestly, you know what's an interesting idea? I was just thinking, how about if you use this as the owner's retreat and not the one upstairs? Like, you have options. Because this is really nice as well. And you even have a, a kitchen in here and everything, but the bathroom. The, the bathroom in the owner's retreat, it's spectacular. You guys are gonna have to wait to see that one. This is the bathroom here as well, which is also very nice. We are done right now with the, uh, the whole guest house. We have completed the tour of that, but there is this, the spectacular pool. It's so big. You have the spa in the center, perfectly gracefully placed, so you could take a dive in the pool, jump back into the spa, back and forth, back and forth. Kind of cool down, warm up, cool down, warm up. We are now in the pool house, the cabana area, the yoga room, the biking room, the exercise room. There's a lot of possibilities with this room. Uh, you could also bike over here. I, I really like the stationary bike. I mean, I never thought I would enjoy it so much, but so far I've burned 1.31 calories, which is not too bad. You have a full bathroom in here as well. Let me hop off. That was excellent. And a shower. As well, it's it's this is really it's very it's very moody. It sets a mood. Right outside, we have a lounging space, the fire pit area, an outdoor dining table right over there. That's a very large fire pit, by the way, very very large. And then the California room. This is a very large California room. This is probably because you know California is a big state. They're trying to you know kind of show it. Look at the wood paneling over here on this side. It carries on over to the ceiling. You have a a fireplace in here, and if you look right up, you'll notice that there are these, these kind of things that look like kind of like lights. They're actually, they're heaters. So, kind of stay warm over here in the winter, come right outside, which is perfect, because California already has very beautiful weather, but if there's like a slight chill, those will cancel it right out, it's beautiful. Now we're back in the house, and actually, we're done with the first floor. So let's head over to the second floor. Let me show you the stairs, they're right this way. They are just this very minimalist, 
modern, again with the, the natural wood, and they're floating. So let's head right up these. If you actually see downstairs, there's like a little, there's a little resting area, a little chill area down there, right under the staircase. We have arrived on the second floor and are immediately greeted by this living room, upstairs living room. It's a bit more playful than the other living rooms. We have windows letting in the views and natural light. Off to that side, we have two bedrooms, including the owner's suite, as well as two bedrooms on this side as well. But I first want to point out these circular, suspended, modern light fixtures. I think they really tie in the space nicely. Off to this side, our first upstairs bedroom has uh, these windows that let in the views, which is really beautiful actually down there, of all of you know, Encino, Sherman Oak, Studio City, LA. This is front facing as well to this side of the house, en suite and the walk-in closet. Off to this bedroom, this bedroom is, is larger and it faces the back of the house, the backyard paradise, more windows, and of course, again, en suite as well as walk-in closet as well, and heading out this way, I want to take us to that corner now, where we first and foremost have a very spacious laundry room with a lot of cabinets over here. Welcome to the owner's suite, reminiscent of a luxury hotel. It has this certain level of sophistication, lack of clutter. We have the fireplace off to one side, the millwork over there, and then the Fleetwood pocket doors open up to your balcony area. This is your private balcony. You could come out here in the mornings, take in a breath of fresh air, look over to your sparkling blue pool. Wow, that looks very refreshing, especially <laughs> since it's warm outside. And I like, uh, I want to point out a couple things down there more, Seth. So <laughs> come back here, yeah, I want to show the brick. I want to show how that brick kind of breaks up the backyard. There's the turf, the basketball court, more brick over here, and there's no neighbors in that direction. All you have, primarily, is the guest suite and your bungalow. Beautiful. Heading back inside, I want to take us to the designer bathroom. And a little, just a little sneak peek, it's very subtle, luxurious. It's not trying to be too gaudy, too anything. It just, it's simple luxury. You head inside, you have your dual vanity right off to one end. And this, honestly, this looks heavenly. The light is just shining right onto your standalone soaking tub. So you hop in and you look out, oh wow, to your <laughs> views of your pool in the morning. I don't think you want to sit like this. This is not the most comfortable way of doing it. But you head out there, you have this beautiful light fixture right above. And the beautiful complement to the bathroom is this steam shower. It fits right in with all this luxury, with all this beauty. You head in, you have all of the faucets and fixtures. It's a rain shower as well. And the beautiful stone slabs carry on from the flooring all the way into the shower as well. And if you're in the shower, it's steaming up, right? You wanna let the steam out a little bit. Just give this a nice little spin and it lets it all out. And now I wanna take us to not one, but two closets. So either for uh, you and your significant other or both for you. I'm not gonna judge however way. I'm down to use both too if you want to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so all the custom built-ins, you know, soft clothes, you open them up, close them up, and the subtle detailed lighting to illuminate all your clothing. Off to this side, we have the second closet, slightly smaller, but it's the same high quality materials and just wow, beautiful finishes. And that wraps up the owner's suite and the owner's bath, and I'll meet you downstairs for the farewells. And there you have it, a bespoke, extraordinary, modern farmhouse on the market for just under $8 million. Once again, I wanna give a special thanks to the listing agent, Danielle Peretz with the agency for inviting us over. I had an amazing time. If you did as well, make sure to smash the like button. And then if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button, which might be over there. <laughs> but uh, also, if you have any questions or comments, chit chat with me in the comments. Until next time, I'm Shant. Cheers.